Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Becky and today we are going to be working on a 12 by 12 layout using a paper pad. I'm using this one right here. It is, don't remember the name, but it's very heavily travel themed. Right here I'm just taking out some papers that I've already cut into as well as two, the paper airplane one and then this pink right here that um, are gonna be my main papers. I did just want to kind of clean this up a little bit. This is a paper pad I've used several times and it was just laying on my floor. So what's happening over here is I'm trying to clean up my room a little bit. And of course, you know, as I'm cleaning it, I have to be making things at the same time because I get like, you know, distracted. So this paper right here I did pull out, but I'm not really going to use it as a paper. I just trimmed it down a little bit and put it on the back of the paper I'm going to be using for the full sheet. I just wanted it to be a little bit heavier. This particular paper pad, while it's not super thin, um, it's not super thick either. Now used to that wouldn't have bothered me. I still would have just used that as a background, but I'm going through the little bit of a phase here recently where I'm really liking my layouts to be uh, more sturdy. So I have been putting backing on the backs of pretty much all my layouts. Right here you can see I am using scrap papers to go ahead and back my photos with. I was kind of wanting them to be all on the same paper, but I didn't have enough left over for them that. So this is how they're going to be. These ones are going to be back on this paper. It has kind of a light blue tint. And the other one was blacked backed on a paper that actually looking back at it looks mostly white. So even the one with the blue tint, you can't really tell it's super blue. Now here's a paper that I have already cut into before. So I'm going to go ahead and just trim it down. I want it to be able to store easily in my paper pad when I put it back into the closet. I did um, organize my paper pads as you guys saw last year, maybe the year before last, the way that Janet had showed us how we could inventory them and, st and put them in our, you know, standing up on the bottom shelf of a shelf, or in my case, I just have them on the floor of my closet standing up horizontally. But when I put this paper pad back where it goes, I don't really want everything to be falling out of it. Although I do want to keep my scraps with it. Anyways, that paper I was trimming up so it'd fit in there nicely. There were a few phrases on there that I thought I might be able to use for a title. I'm not going to end up using those for a title, but I did trim them out just in case. This piece right here I thought I was going to use in a horizontal way. Um, it kind of goes with on it. There are some like goldy yellow colored dots and it goes with a big part of or a good part of the mm, paper airplanes. Some of them are that same color. So I went ahead and tried that out. I'm going to end up not using that. I'm going to end up using the blue one for that also. So I did pull out or I do have out one of the was it called? One of the spinders for my scrap rack. And that's where I get a good part of the embellishments I end up using on here. Um, the pieces I've had out just, just now, even though I'm playing around with them, that camera piece, it was a, a part of the cut apart sheet. I did just go ahead and fussy cut that out. Even though I'm playing around with that, that is not even going to end up making it on there. I really did want to use it, but it's I think that would be a better used piece if I had maybe two or three larger photos. It just looks it just looks way too big. It's like swamping my small photos, so I didn't like that. I did pull out these Vicky Booten um, phrase alphas, phrase thickers, not thickers, they're like epoxy or plastic or something. And I chose this title right here that says this photo. I love that photo of Marissa. She's like double arming her babies. She's such a good mama. Riley's sleeping, but Riker, he's just laying there with his eyes open. I do have close up photos of the kids over on the left hand side there. So here's a, P or a pack of ephemera I did pull out the scrap rack. This is the Good Vibes ephemera. I picked these up at Tuesday morning several months ago. Hadn't broken into the pack yet. So I do just go ahead and break into it on this one. Um, I only end up using one piece from here, but you can see these cork stars I pulled out. They kind of gave me an idea of 
well, cork stars, and I know I have some cork, so I am going to go away and grab my little piece of cork in some steel dies and go ahead and cut out several smaller sized um, cork stars. See these stars? They're all the same size, and I wanted them to be not... <laughs> I wanted some smaller ones. So yes, I did. You can see over on the right hand side where I used that cork. I had picked up this pack. It might have been at Tuesday morning. Could have been at Michael's. I don't know. It was on sale and they were called banners. So you could cut out these cork banners and, you know, make a banner. Well, that's not why I wanted it. I just wanted it for the cork and it was on clearance so I did go ahead and pick it up and look here finally it came into use so the little stars that I use for my still die are from Stephanie Barnard you have seen me use those plenty of times before I do love that star set and here I also pulled out some stickers that are from Vicki Booten now you can see the top of that sticker sheet they're like all these little squiggly arrows and they remind me of some of the little squiggly pieces that are on that paper airplane paper that's in the back. There's some squiggly lines going on in there and I thought that it would look perfect or match up really well with that. So I am going to be using several pieces from there. I tried to use them all and actually thinking back, I'm not even sure if I did get them all used or not, but they're very subtle except for in the close-ups. But when you look at the, you're looking at the layout like right now, they're pretty subtle. Um, I do use a ton of them around the page and I still keep my cork stars on there as well. I had actually thought about changing the color of those cork stars, maybe putting some acrylic paint on them, but I just went ahead and left them cork. That doesn't mean I can't go back and change them at some point. Of course, there would be a um, uh, opportunity to mess up though. If I did that right, I'd get paint all over the paper. Also in this sticker pack that was from Vicki Booten, there were some word phrases. So down there at the bottom, I put moments like these. And up here at the top, I'm putting snapshot. Now you can see I pulled out two of those circles too, and I popped them both up on some pop dots. Hashtag awesome and good times. Well, looking back at this, I really wanted a little bit more black up at the top. I just have a little bit of black and actually it might possibly be possibly be navy blue that's in that number one fan I wanted another piece of black up there but I didn't see a circular sticker that I particularly loved so I will go back through those word those word stickers and see if there's something I can put up there and I will find just a little word that says hello right here I did have a little bit of white space between that word strip and my title block so I just stuck a little cork star up on some foam tape and go ahead and put it down here. Here's where I'm hunting for some more black to be up there. I just wanted those, see those two circular black pieces. I just wanted a little bit more black. So there we go. That's what I ended up going with is just a little word and it says hello. So after I do this, I am not going to be doing anything else to this layout guys. I thank you so much for joining me and I uh, check the links down below and I will see you next time. Bye guys.